Hi there, so yeah, everyone knows how normal self-expanding two-part thumb behaves. That's a piece of it, a bit white, a bit yellow. Um, I did a bit of a mixture. I came up with that. It looks a bit like bad tikka masala or some other bad curry. Um, I mixed the fiberglass resin with two-part foam and um, yeah it came up really really hard I mean two days ago I had some kids trying to break it they put it like that and they were jumping up and down on it and that sort of thing nothing really happened to it um, and it's really tough and um, yeah, it still expands as you can see it came out of the cup because cup is still there yeah the cup is still inside it just came out like that it took a bit longer to to cure but yeah I haven't tried cutting it yet so I'm just gonna show with the same knife how easily you can cut normal foam it goes pretty much like butter well a bit tougher butter but yeah the butter and I'm gonna try to cut that one I have to use definitely a lot more force to cut it a lot more force and it's not going easy at all and it's still the same knife Okay, finally it broke, but actually, even though it's still flexing, well not very flexy, but it flexes a bit, it's really tough to break. Finally it broke, comparing of course it is a um, relatively smaller piece, but it breaks a lot easier. I'm going to try to break off the edge here. As you can see, it was really difficult to break it. So, I've got a strange feeling that this thing might be ultimate answer to how to make flat fiberglass surfaces strong without making them too heavy with fiberglass. Probably just two layers of fiberglass, a bit of that foam, maybe additional layer on top, and we got a bit thicker, but very rigid fiberglass layer something like MDF but a lot lighter because it's still light as normal foam 